and welcome to another episode. In today's episode, we're going to be doing a craft video, which I haven't actually done in a very long time. So we're going to be going out here on the work table on the side of the house, and we're going to be making a new wreath for our front door. It's um, how to make a succulent wreath, and it's adorable. And if you looked at the thumbnail for this video, you'll see what it looked like. And uh, it's pretty windy outside, and there's a lot of noise going on and construction and stuff. So I'm probably going to be doing a voiceover over for this video. So anyway guys, we're going to take the camera outside and get started. So we chose succulents because they can handle heat and need very little water, so it's a great summer wreath. So that's why we're doing this. So you need a wreath, any size will do, but if it's rustic like this, it's better. So you'll need one of those. You'll also need succulents, which you can get at um, like Home Depot, a, a nursery, any place like that where they sell plants. They tolerate high heat and low water they're great and then potting mix you're going to need the potting mix to put inside various size pots up to you what size you want you're also going to need stem wire which we bought at a craft store and you'll see what we're going to do with that in just a second we got it in the color dark brown to match the wreath wire cutters if you'd like scissors to cut the plants if you need to gardening gloves you will also need a spade for the potting mix. And we bought this at a craft store, which is preserved moss, which you can use to decorate the wreath and make it look more rustic. So let's move on to the first step. So the first step is to get your wreath out and we're going to be putting the moss, which is just dried moss, where, and this is what it looks like. We're gonna be putting that all over the wreath. So you just take it out of the bag, that's what it looks like. You break it up in little pieces and we are going to be strategically placing the moss like this. You just push it into the branches of the wreath. That's why it's a good thing to have this kind of wreath to work with. And that's how it looks. So we're gonna do that all the way around. Okay, so I've done it all the way around. I've left some open spaces. Um, this does make a mess, so I would do this outside or with newspaper put down. So here's our first pot, and we're going to strategically place these around. And this is the small one of the smaller pots, and then we have really small pots like this, and we're just going to combine these all over. So you put one of the wires through the bottom hole of the pot, and then wrap it around through the top, and that creates kind of like a handle for the pot, and that's what's going to hold it onto the wreath. So we're going to take this one, and I zoomed in for you, and we are going to take this wire, and you just kind of manipulate it around, and then you stick the wire through the branches of the wreath. Another good reason to have one of these kind of twig wreaths, because um, it gives it something to hold on to. And then you'll feel them come out on the other side and you're going to strategically place those wires through there and that is how the pot is going to be held on. See and it'll hold it like that and it'll be pretty sturdy and then you can turn it and manipulate them to go any di direction you want. So there's the back view with the wire and you can see we're twisting it and twisting it and twisting it and twisting it just to make sure that the pot is very secure on the wreath and then we wrap the wire around the branches for extra security like that. So there you are guys, there it is hanging on to the wreath very nicely and it's just positioned nice. So now we're going to move on to the smaller pot and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the big one. We're going to put this one right there and we have our wire again and we're going to stick it through the hole in the bottom. It goes out through the top and then you bring the pieces around like that and it's going to go on the wreath. So there we have it guys. We've twisted it around the back and now I'm going to go all the way around and finish it up. So there we have all of our pots wired onto the wreath all the way around very securely to make sure they stay. And now we're gonna add the potting mix. There you go. So to put the potting mix in, you need to put the wreath upright. I got my gardening gloves on and we're gonna take our potting mix and our spade and we're going to just pour some down into the pot. Just like that. And then we're gonna take some of our succulents. Here's one that we bought. We're gonna take this and put it down into the pot so it will sit there just like that. All right, I had to take my glove off because it was 
hard to manipulate the dirt. So that's gonna sit there like that and we just filled up dirt around the sides. And there you go. Okay guys, it looks great. Mom, can you zoom in and show them a better shot of it? Yeah, let's zoom in. All right, here we are. This is a very close up shot of the whole thing. Around and around and around and around we go. I took some of the moss and put it inside the plants and inside the pots just for extra um, greenery. See, you can see I stuck some in there just to give it some extra green and some extra color. This is great, Mom. Put it on the front door. Alrighty, guys, so there's the wreath on our front door, and we love the way that it turned out. We found this idea online, and we've never seen one like this on anyone's door before, so we thought that it was pretty interesting. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about it. I just love it. It's great for summer because the heat, um, these plants can withstand the heat. Anyway, guys, be sure to subscribe. I have more videos coming. Also, in the description box below, you will see all the links to all my social media where I'm very active, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.